Hello everybody, so this is going to be a quick video on this varnish that I got a couple weeks ago and I've been playing around with it on my oil pastel work um, and I applied it to this painting and I applied it to another one and I'll show you the difference um, and talk about each one of those here in a second but I just want to make a note about varnishes and, and the difference between a varnish and a fixative like this one here. So the, the key difference here is that a fixative is really designed for uh, drawings and, and uh, pastel or oil pastel work or charcoal or graphite work. And the idea is you, is you spray the final fixative over your work to prevent any kind of smudge proof so that if you accidentally brush up against it, you're not going to wipe your, your drawing off or your pastel off. So, and then the varnish is really designed for uh, like oil paintings, acrylic, or water, even watercolor. Um, and I would say a varnish is probably a more of a protective layer. Um, and so it, it'll prevent uh, maybe some scratching and definitely smudge proof. Um, so, but I wanted to see if this varnish would be suitable to use for oil pastel work since oil and oil pastel is kind of similar. Um, so I'm gonna, I, I picked this up at the art store and um, I'll just kind of read the label here. So um, this is a Kmart varnish. It gives a non-yellowing protection to any oil, acrylic, or watercolor painting. It's a museum quality varnish. It's highly resistant to discoloration and offers superior clarity and durability. And I, I agree with that. Um, and it's meant for oil, acrylic, or watercolor painting. So there's no mention of pastel or oil pastel work. Um, ideal condi conditions would be, you need to be in a well ventilated, ventilated area and temperature needs to be about 55 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit in a low humidity environment. So that's pretty key. It actually says that here. All right, so I picked this up at the art store um, and I decided to give it a shot and I applied it to um, this painting here. Now this is a 16 by 20 oil pastel work I did a couple weeks ago. It's 100% oil pastel on a panel. And um, I did about four applications of it. And I waited a good half hour between each one. And um, I'm going to go ahead and tilt it to the light so you can see that it's got a heavy gloss on it. Okay. And uh, a couple things about this that, um, well, I'll talk about some pros and cons. So the pros is that the surface is completely protected, completely not only smudge proof, but I can rub really heavily and nothing's going to come off. Even up here in the textured areas where I did some of this foliage where there's a little bit of texture coming off, that's all protected. And that's all Sennelier uh, right here. Even in this waterfall part, that's the Sennelier white, which is really difficult to cover. That's all covered. Um, so that's a, that's a pro about it. Um, the con for me and another pro about it is it didn't change any of the colors. Like it didn't saturate the colors. Um, it didn't deepen the darks. It just kind of provides this nice sheen to the, to the artwork. And I don't mind the gloss at all. I'm gonna talk about the cons. So the cons to this is it's got a really strong odor, like a really strong petroleum, you know, gasoline type odor to it that really permeated through the house. Um, so, you know, I sprayed it outside and I let it dry outside. And after about the fourth application, I was done with it. And I brought it into the house and I brought it into my studio here and I just kind of laid it flat to just kind of, just continue to kind of gas out. And it literally stunk up the whole house for a good day or two. So that's a definite con. Um, it's got a really strong, strong odor. And uh, I didn't like that at all. The other con about it that I don't like is that it left a sticky feel to the surface. And what's interesting about that is not all of it is sticky. The only parts that are sticky are in the dark areas, like right in here and down in here in a base. And so certain colors or certain sticks, um, when I put the varnish on it, feel very sticky to the touch. Okay, but not the whole thing. And I've come across that sticky problem before, you, even using a fixative like this one, where you know you spray layers of it and you let each layer dry, and then you come up with another layer and you let that layer dry. You sometimes get like a sticky feel to the surface, and I've experienced that with this product before. What I've done to get around that is I just keep applying more layers of this, and even up to 12, 15 layers of this till the stickiness just goes away. 
and I've been successful doing it that with this product here, this final fixative. After about four applications, I couldn't really stand the odor anymore and I was done and I knew I had 100% protection and I still had this sticky problem and um, you know, it's still sticky. It's been about a week and it's still sticky, especially down in these dark areas. So those are the cons. It's just got a really strong odor um, <clears throat> and it's a little bit sticky in some parts. So I'm definitely, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna use this again. Um, I will say that it does work to protect oil pastel. So, you know, if you don't mind the stickiness or if you don't mind the smell, uh, this will work, this will work. And so I, I did it on this painting and it's on panel. And then I also did it on this one here. Now this is a portrait that I did a year ago and this is done on pastel mat. Okay, just nice thick durable paper, pastel mat. And um, I'm gonna set this one aside here just for a second. So put that over here. Okay, so this painting here. So this painting is a portrait I did a year ago and it's got some layers to it. So the first layer I did with new pastel and then I put a workable fixative on top of the new pastel and I did a few layers of oil pastel. So the final top layer here is just oil pastel. And, uh, and I just let it sit out for a year and didn't put anything on it and just let it sit out until it finally just dried. And it took about a year for that oil pastel to dry up so that when I touched it, it was a dry medium instead of a wet sticky medium. All right, and so I wanted to see what the varnish would do on an oil pastel work that has a new pastel underpainting that's done on paper. I wanted to see if this would work. And the answer to that is it did work. It did provide good protection on it I got that glossiness on it, but I also got some sticky uh, feeling to it, especially in the dark areas. And so I didn't really want the stickiness to it. Um, and I did about four to five applications and uh, it's completely 100% protected. And so after, you know, dealing with this one and the other one here with that sticky feeling, I, I decided to try a little experiment to see what can I do to get rid of the sticky feel. And so I've have this matte finish um, and this is not a fixative it's just a finish protective uh, I don't even know what you call it it's not really a fixative it's just a it's a Krylon matte finish provides a permanent non-gloss finish which protects arts crafts and valuables eliminates light reflection it dries fast and clear it seals the finished painting protects acrylic backgrounds uh, for decorative painters so it doesn't say it's a fixative um, it looks like a fixative but it's just a finish. So what I did and what I discovered is when I had that sticky feel after applying this varnish to it, um, I let it dry for a day and I came back the next day and I sprayed a matte finish over the entire thing. And that got a, that took care of the stickiness. So the stickiness went away. And if I hold it to the light, you can see that gloss, there's a little bit of gloss, but uh, most of that gloss went away. And uh, the cool thing about it is that it didn't change any of the colors. So the dark still looked the same, the, the color is the same saturation as, saturation as it was before. Um, but I no longer have that sticky feel to it. So I discovered something here. I discovered that the, this Kmar varnish, although it will work to protect your oil pastel work, um, the problems with it is it's just, it's its odor, it's, it's gaseous, um, and for me it uh, left too much of a sticky feel to the surface of the, of the work. So for those reasons I'm just not going to use this product again. Um, and I pretty much used this whole can on both of these works. I did really, you know, I would go over the, with one application, let that dry for 20 minutes, and then I would do another application, let that dry for 20-30 minutes. And I did that four or five times, so I finally got the layers of this to build up where I could even go over the high textured areas and not get anything on my fingers. So it does work, but um, it's just too smelly and too sticky. So um, for me, I'm just not going to use this product again. And in the midst of all that, I discovered that uh, this matte finish applied on top of the sticky varnish actually got rid of the stickiness. It actually gives it a nice uh, flat even surface so there's no gloss to it 
Anyway, I just want to pass that on. Um, for those of you who are curious if a varnish will work for oil pastel, I tried it on one with a panel, tried it on one with a um, paper that has a new pastel underpainting. And uh, it does work, but like I said, um, I'm kind of sensitive to, the, to those odors and, and um, it really stunk up my house. So I'm de definitely not going to use it again. And so I'll just keep continuing using this final fixative instead. But what I did learn is that if I do get a stickiness from using this fixative or any other fixative, that if I simply spray a, a light coat of this matte finish, I can get rid of that sticky feeling. So if you have oil pastel work out there and you put a final fixative on it and you're getting a sticky feel, you might consider trying this matte finish um, just to do a really light spray over it. You know, once it's all dry, just do a little really light spray of this stuff and you can get rid of that sticky feel, but still retain the strength and the, and the same saturation of the colors before. So, and this didn't change the colors. I was concerned that maybe it would go down to the new pastel layer and darken it up, but that didn't happen. Probably because this Kmart varnish was a, was a bulletproof protection for it, so. Okay, so quick video. I just wanted to um, talk about this real quick. And, um, you know, I still feel this is the best product out there for oil pastel work to give it uh, a really good protection. It, it does cost the most, but it is consistent. Um, and it just works pretty much 100% of the time. And uh, I know I talk a lot about fixatives and, and uh, you know, trying different methods and, and you know, we talked about this low odor clear finish a while ago. So I talk a lot about it because it is a hurdle when it comes to oil pastel. It is a problem um, when you're an oil pastel artist and you want to protect your work. You know, what do you do, you know? And um, so I kind of play around. I try different fixatives. I try it on different surfaces because I really want to experiment and kind of have that firsthand experience of, of what happens. And so that's why I talk a lot about it. And that's why I do a lot of these experiments with it. So. That's it, that's all I have. Um, so this does work. Um, and if you can get past the odor and the, uh, uh, that, that strong smell, then you can go ahead and use it. Um, but for me, no more. And um, I'm still, this is still my number one. And what I learned here is this is now something I can use on top to get rid of the sticky feel if that becomes a problem. Okay, so. There you have it, and um, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you later.